Hi guys, this is Noiser with another episode of Quick Tips, the series where I post short videos each containing one tip that has helped me improve my game in Rainbow Six Siege. This is actually episode 50 of the series that made me start this channel, with the first episode Kill with your drone, and a lot has happened since. Today's episode is sort of a tribute to that first video, as well as one of the most important lessons I've realized when playing this game. I think this will be a very important tip and valuable lesson for you as well, especially if you're struggling to reach gold or have a KD of 1.0 or, or below or something like that, because that probably means that you have great potential for improvement with my quick tip series. So to the action. Everyone knows that intel is king in Rainbow Six Siege, but when it comes to fragging out a lot in a round, or getting killed before you even have the chance to see your enemy, this tip around how to get and how to use intel is crucial. Fresh intel can often mean a free kill, while intel that is just a few seconds old might mean the opposite. One thing I've struggled with a lot and see others struggle with as well is acting confident and directly on intel which often will make you increase your kill potential quite easily actually. Here on border for example I drone out a defender in the hallway and act immediately before he gets the chance to spot my drone, hopefully before another enemy makes it harder to go for that kill and in a way that makes me use the element of surprise and perhaps some peeker's advantage as well. That is a free kill, but just a second later it might be a lost potential kill, or a situation where we get pushed instead. Here on Consulate is another example where I drone out an enemy that is unaware of that he's being spotted. I briefly pause here as I hear something below, but push on as I can't make out the danger. I get the kill, but then potato like crazy here as Frost scares the shit out of me, but manage to get some cover to switch weapon and get the kill. If I would have waited just another second to push that hatch, I would have been dead before I hit the ground. If I wouldn't have hesitated at all, I would probably have gotten even easier push, and this is so typical when it comes to intel in Rainbow Six Siege. The opportunity you see is now, and for every second that passes the landscape can change dramatically. It's quite obvious, especially in this video, that it's not <laughs> my reflexes or my aim that has enabled me to compete at a high goal level most seasons, even plat one season. I am extremely average when it comes to individual skill in that sense. But what I have been able to do is to enhance my strengths and avoid as many of my weaknesses as possible to succeed in this game. Now, you might argue that being high gold or low plat is not succeeding at all. But to me, it really is. Because most kids out there, they will probably kick my ass in any shooter if we both try the game for the first time. I'm too old for this, as Danny Glover said in Lethal Weapon, a movie from the 80s when most of you weren't even born, but enough. Of that. Okay, in this last clip I use a teammate's callouts to push directly after his drone to be sure of that the enemy don't have the time to reposition or take out the drone after the callout. Too many times you drone out someone without actually using that intel and the element of surprise to get the kill. On higher levels this is what most players do which will leave you with a feeling that they rush in before you even have the chance to see someone coming. Pushing in on someone when you know exactly where they are is so much easier than running in counting only on your aim and reflexes. So that's about it for this one guys. What are your thoughts on this? Perhaps you have some own tips and tricks you would like to share or get featured in a future episode? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment below and give me a thumbs up or down so I get some feedback on this video. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to get notified as soon as I post something new. I'll be back soon again and until then, I will keep being noiser. Hey door.